Banzai! Banzai! Screamed the Japanese as they launched a heinous night attack against Marines dug in on Guadalcanal. On October 24th, 1942, the intense Japanese assault in the darkness was terrifying. Through it all, one man stood unyielding, Sergeant John Bassalone. Have you heard this name before? From the jungles of Guadalcanal to the sands of Iwo Jima, Bassalone's bravery was phenomenal. His heroism that night was recognized with the highest military honors and an immortal place in history. This is the story of the most celebrated Marines in the Corps' history, yet the least discussed chapter of World War II. Don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons to keep up with our latest content. Some of you might recognize his face from the HBO series The Pacific, but who was John Bassalone beyond the screen portrayal? Born in Buffalo, New York, on November 4th, 1916, John Bassalone was destined for greatness. He was one of 10 children and the son of a hardworking Italian immigrant tailor. Bassalone was the embodiment of courage with Italian roots and an American heart. Passionate about serving his country, John first joined the army and later the Marine Corps. What ignited that fire in him to opt for the dangerous and unpredictable life of a Marine? After training as a soldier, John first went to Hawaii and the Philippine Islands. He worked there and also had a good time in Manila. When his time in the army ended in 1937, he returned home and drove trucks in Reisterstown, Maryland. But soon, John missed the life of a soldier. So, in July 1940, he signed up as a Marine in Baltimore, Maryland. Bassalone served three years in the Army during the 1930s, but it wouldn't be until he enlisted in the Marine Corps and the country's subsequent plunge into World War II. On August 7, 1942, Allied forces, including Americans, Australians, and New Zealanders, made their move on Guadalcanal and the Solomon Islands. Guess their goal? Capture the island and use it as a launch pad against the Japanese stronghold on Rabaul. They quickly overtook the Japanese troops already on the island. But by October, Japan sent reinforcements, about 15,000 strong. Something big was about to happen. It was the night of October 24th. Bassalone and his men were under heavy fire from Japanese troops, storming the defenses fiercely. Bassalone was among the US Marines holding the line, overseeing two machine gun sections with under 15 men under his command. Due to the limited ammunition, they were close to being overrun, but Bassalone? He was no ordinary soldier. Despite facing incredible odds, he moved a heavy machine gun, fired into the enemy, and even used his pistol when the enemies got too close. Bassalone braved enemy lines twice to fetch supplies. By the night's end, he had killed at least 38 Japanese soldiers. Can you believe it? He went three days without sleep or food, continually opposing Japanese advances. Bassalone's courage wasn't just evident, it was legendary. Bassalone's valiant efforts didn't go unnoticed. He became the only enlisted Marine in the World War II to receive the Medal of Honor and the Navy Cross. John Bassalone received the decoration in a ceremony in Australia in May 1943. Impressive, right? The HBO series Pacific gave John Bassalone a place in popular culture. His character displays strength, resilience, and tenacity. Have you watched it? Did you feel his determination, his spirit through the screen? The series portrayed his valor, but behind the scenes was a man of flesh and blood who embraced fear despite all odds. Now, think about this. 
After receiving the Medal of Honor, John could have chosen a safer path and taken a role away from the front line. Would you blame him? But no. John Bassalone, driven by duty and love for his brothers in arms, returned to the battlefield. He wanted to return to the Marine Corps and the war in the Pacific. However, it was declined. They offered him a commission as a second lieutenant, but he declined the offer saying, I am not an officer, nor a museum piece. I belong back with my outfit. Can you just believe it? Did you know the Marine Corps sent Bass alone on a countrywide war bond tour to the United States? He quickly became a celebrity and was recognized everywhere he went. His efforts had raised more than a million dollars for the war. Isn't that surreal? Hit the bell button to get notified about the latest updates regarding these stories. Are you curious how the brave gunnery Sergeant John Bassalone died? Keep watching to find out. In late 1943, gunnery Sergeant Bassalone, eager to return to action, was stationed at Camp Pendleton, California. His life took a tender turn. He fell in love with a fellow Marine, Sergeant Lena May Rigi. Their whirlwind romance led to a summer wedding in 1944. But duty called, and Barcelona was en route to the Pacific by Christmas, leaving behind his new bride, never to see her again. Barcelona's next major battle would be Iwo Jima, a strategic island fiercely guarded by 21,000 Japanese troops. On February 19, 1945, on D-Day on Iwo Jima, he hit the shores with his platoon, facing relentless enemy gunfire. The volcanic ash, the entrenched enemy, the continuous firepower. It was here that John met his end. But how? As bullets flew and soldiers fell, Barcelona's leadership shone. He urged his men forward, bravely taking out an enemy blockhouse and securing a critical airfield. But war is unpredictable. After successfully navigating a trapped marine tank out of danger, tragedy struck. Shrapnel from an enemy mortar took Manila John down. Though a mortar round claimed his life, it couldn't diminish his legacy. In those last moments, he was doing what he did best, leading from the front, fighting for his country and setting an example of unparalleled bravery. He was just 27 at that time. Now, take a moment, close your eyes, picture those final moments. The sound of gunfire, the whizzing mortars, the calls of his comrades. And in the center of it all, John Bassalone, marching forward undeterred. Gunnery Sergeant John Bassalone's tale is not just one of heroism in adversity. It is a testament to the human spirit, to the depths of courage we can muster when pushed to our limits. It makes us wonder, what are we capable of? Today, as we remember John and countless others who sacrificed their all, we are reminded of the price of freedom and the heroes who pay it. How will you remember Gunnery Sergeant John Bassalone as a character from Pacific? A war hero from the pages of history? Or as a symbol of what we all can aspire to be? Keep us posted in the comments section below if you enjoy our content. We would love to hear from you. Until next time.